and function in Zoom and we'll get going. Go with Mike Wilson first. Yeah, Rick, I know you said after the game the other day that John's probable. Do you have an update on that? And then with, with Dez coming back, I mean, how neat is that to get such an early season game against a guy who was on your staff for so long? Well, I did talk with John early, earlier today, and he did tell me that he's planning on practicing tomorrow, starting. How much he can get, do and get done, we won't know. It will be day by day, obviously. But, uh, you know, we're, one, I'm excited for Dez. And uh, from the time I got to know him, his goal was to be a Division One head basketball coach. And he had the op opportunity to interview for a number of different positions and ended up with a, just a terrific job here in uh, East Tennessee. And, I think he would tell you that he's really excited about his team. They uh, have players coming back uh, that uh, have had great success. And and so uh, looking at him, you know, there's certainly some things that he will do that uh, that we do here. And But he's also added some of the things that he likes himself. But uh, from a personal standpoint, I'm, I'm just really excited for Dez and his family that he's – finally gotten the opportunity he had worked long and hard for for a long time. We'll go Ryan Schumper next, then Grant Ramey. When you had the chance to go back and watch the tape, just what were some things that you liked and then didn't like about that last five minutes when you had your four freshmen uh, in the game? Well, what I, I really liked is I do think there's no doubt our guys wanted to play hard, and I think that uh, they were jumpy early in the game. I thought we were taking ourselves way out of position defensively and – just giving up straight line drives to the basket and being too concerned with our own uh, men as far as not helping. Uh, you know, we had the floor wide open so many times. And is that expected a little bit? It is uh, because of the fact that, uh, you know, guys, again, wanting to do well, wanting to be aggressive. And, uh, but, you know, overall, you know, the shots we took, uh, we took what well, took 43s. I would tell you those 40, I would tell you, and, and we've talked to the players about it, you know, five, six, seven were not what we're looking for from behind the arc. And I think the biggest takeaway is that we know that we've got to get better in every facet of the game. And we need uh, uh, everybody to have the mindset that, that they've got to improve daily. Rick, you guys had 23 offensive rebounds the other night. Is that a product of shooting so many threes, or do you think this is a good offensive rebounding team, or is it some kind of combination? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. I think that when you shoot threes, you know, there's, you know, long shots, long rebounds. and But also, if we're going to shoot it, we've got to be willing to run it down some because, as you know, there's nights when, you know, you get some great looks like the other night. You know, we had some looks that – we uh, would like to think, I mean, Josiah didn't have a great shooting night, and but uh, and VJ and both of those guys uh, are more than capable. But there's nights when, you know, players would tell you that feels like it's going in, but it doesn't. So with that said, if you want to shoot them, and, and again, we don't, we, we've talked a lot about how important rebounding is on both ends with this group. And uh, you don't want to be a one and done uh, team on offense but on the other end on the defensive end you really do want to try to limit people with one shot as much as you can and but uh i think as time goes on when people probably will work harder at defending the three-point line because it's obvious that we've got guys that can shoot it and we're going to allow them to shoot it when it's in the framework of what we've talked about and so people will game plan more for that as time goes and moves forward then can we adjust to continue to shot fake, you know, maybe get a shot for yourself or sidestep or put it on the floor and create create some uh, – get them in rotation where we can even get a better look. And with those six shots or so that we shouldn't have taken, that's what should have happened. But with the rebounding part of it, I, I like to think it's a combination of both of them. Karthik and then Rob Lewis. Hey, Coach, Huntley Hartfield seemed to give you some really good minutes off the bench there for your team. Uh, he also had a couple blocks. I know you were talking about rim protector the other day. Do you envision him being a guy that could develop into that rim protector for you all? We hope so. You know, we hope, you know, all these guys, we, we've all got to improve. We've got to improve. If we're, if we're not going to consistently have a rim protector, we've got to get in position on the help side to, 
get our body between drivers and the rim, whether it's taking a charge or playing with verticality, we've got, we've got to get over there. That's really important. But do we think, uh, I think anybody that has his hands uh, and his, and he really does have really good anticipation skills. He, he can be a guy that could block some shots and he can do it with his, in a different way. Uh, but uh, a lot's been thrown at him and he's improved certainly from day one, but right now the whole key to not just him, but I would say any of the younger guys and some of the older guys to be quite frank is reliability, what we can count on and understand they're going to do every time they're out there. Coach, just where, where are you looking for the most improvement from game one to game two? I would guess defense. But. Yeah, we got to, we got to be better defensively and there's no doubt about that. And, uh, I think that we've got to, uh, you know, when you talk about guarding the ball, that's that's where it starts. We we did not do a good job there the other night, but again, with that said, our help defense we're normally pretty good in that area, and we weren't very good the other night. But I also know watching the tape, it wasn't because of a lack of effort. It was a lack of uh, just being overly anxious. And even when we got driven by on the perimeter a number of times, we just took ourselves out of position, swiping at the ball as if we wanted to, you know, make something happen real quickly. And, and uh, as opposed to being in a mindset that you got to grind it out, know you got help from your teammates. And so that, that area has got to be cleaned up obviously. And, and then from there, uh, offensively continue to, you know, we, we, I can tell you, Rob, we, we spacing wasn't still what, what we needed to be. We still have some guys that don't understand the real subtleties and of when the ball's at a certain area on the floor, how they need to, you know, rise up from the corners or move wherever it might be. And, uh, but, um, again, I like to think some of that came from, you know, first game and, but, uh, going forward, you'd like to think that we'll be able to carry over more and more what we do in practice. Ben McKee, then Grant Ramey. Rick, I know Tuesday night wasn't your your first game of the year. You had the close scrimmage and the exhibition, but what did you think of Zakai and Kennedy in terms of running the offense? And then what's the next step for them in that department? Well, I think I think they both. I, I tried to explain it to him this way: uh, it's like a quarterback in football when he's up there, he knows who his primary receiver is, and when he steps back there, he's looking down the field and he's got to see who's defending that guy, but. He also has to have an eye on what that safety might be doing. And instead of trying to ram it in there, which I think they're still trying to do too much, they're going to have to look to check down. And that, that's it's there in the offense. It's there for them to do it. But right now they're still trying to squeeze that thing into a tight box when there's – it's one thing if it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's another thing when it's a guy lurking right there. Even if the guy should get it, he's not going to have much to do with it. But, you know, they're both young and, and uh, they pretty much have, uh, you know, most of them can do it pretty, both of them have done a pretty good job getting the ball where we want it to want them to get it. But now they're having, going to have to learn how to, as they get themselves deep into the jungle with all those arms hanging around there, they're going to have to figure out how to get out of it. And right now they're not throwing, they're throwing up some shots that are making some plays that, uh, that they, that they can't make, but, Overall, you know, the tempo that we want them to push, they are pushing that. But now it's going to get down to continue to, to make better decisions. Rick, have you seen enough from John through the summer and I guess the spring to think that he's going to be back to kind of what he was a couple of years ago opposed to what we saw at times last season? Right, he, he was doing that. He was, he was uh, he, you know, he and Santi had really got where they – really played really well together, especially in the open side of the court. And uh, now how long it takes him to get back to where he was before he left, I don't know. Uh, but to answer your question, point blank, yes. We had saw him, we saw him back to where he was a John Fulkerson before last year and, uh, and the one that he was starting to play into at the end of last year. But uh, now, again, he it will be how quickly he, he can get back to it. The last question, Ryan Schumpert. You guys ran the lineup with Zakai and Kennedy on the court at the same time there at the end of the first half. Is, is Defensively, is it feasible to play those guys together for a lot of minutes at a time? Not right now, it's not. 
it's not because of uh, both of them are learning how to play off the ball defense. Going back to what I was really alluding to early when we started talking here today was uh, our off ball defense has got to get better and especially got to get better from the younger guys. That's really important that they, that they do that. But right now, I don't see them being able to do that at a long period of time until they understand how important off ball defense is. All right. Thanks guys. What we'll VJ Bailey or second?